Oh, uh, Buju. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Buju, not a Buju podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am not a Buju. And today, our Ojibwe word of the day, Dabaji Moen. Dabaji Moen is a story. But it's not a traditional story. A traditional story would be Arizukan. Arizukan. But sometimes when we just talk about stories, they can be like news stories. So, today's news story. The Nordic Whitecaps win third straight Spirit Cup at Bemidji. Uh, Dragon Boat Festival. Ho, uh, congratulations, Nordic Whitecaps. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, let's see, one person dead in single vehicle crash near Uppsala. Ho, uh, that's too bad. Food rides and fun begins uh, or bring public back to this year's Crow Wing County Fair. You want to go out and get some... Uh, uh, motion sickness, come to the Crow Wing County Fair. <laughs> Last time I went to a county fair, I threw up. I was like, oh, I'm going to be the fun uncle. I'm going to go on the rides with the kids. No. Once you're over, I don't know, 30 or something, you can't ride those rides anymore. At least you can't after you have a big meal and three cups of wine. But let's see. Teamsters respond to recent U. MP Blandon negotiations as strike continues in Grand Rapids. Don't care. Brainerd man charged in connection with abduction of son. How do you abduct your own son? <laughs> um, anyway, 25th annual Anishinaabe Spirit Run kicks off at Red Lake Powwow Grounds. Okay, let's take a look at that. Here's some hard-hitting news from Indian country. The 25th annual Anishinaabe Spirit Run kicks off at Red Lake Powwow Grounds. Here's a picture of the uh, Spirit Runners. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Red Lake hosted the first leg of the 25th annual Anishinaabe Spirit Run on Wednesday at the Red Lake Powwow Grounds. This event is in collaboration between tribal nations to help promote health and wellness. These people <laughs> are promoting health and wellness. I'm not going to say it, you guys. <laughs> We're emphasizing clean living, health, wellness, culture. And I think the biggest takeaway is that we are trying to pass that on to the next generation. See, that's what you got to do. You got to be, you got to lead by example. Said Red Lake Na Nation College Cultural Coordinator Floyd Buck Jordan. Buck Jordan. Why don't they just call him Buck Jordan? Anytime you see his name in print. Oh, it's Floyd Buck Jordan. His nickname is Buck. Yeah, okay. You want to be called Bucky? We'll call you Buck. You know, it's not like Caitlyn Jenner is going, you know, said Bruce, quote, Caitlyn Jenner. You know, that'd be rude. From now on, no more of this Floyd, quote, Buck Jordan. It's just Buck Jordan. <laughs> I'm getting heated over this. <laughs> nah. Over the years, the Anishinaabe Spirit Run has developed and created a safe space for the community to keep thriving. Keep on thriving. You know, it's really special, and I think about it, but some of the ones that started, we do this with those in mind that started the run and what the message was back then. It's the same thing, said Jason Hart, Red Lake 
chemical health cultural coordinator. He coordinates the chemical health of the culture, or he culturally coordinates the chemical health. What's wrong with the health of the chemical? Oh, the chemicals are sick. Oh. Yeah, and so a main focus, blah, blah, blah. And this has been today's Arazukan. No, it's not a traditional story. This is a Dabaji Moan story. The 25th annual Anishinaabe Spirit Run kicks off at Red Lake Powwow Grounds. Otherwise, if you'd like to order merchandise from Buju Nanabuju, come check out our Teespring page. You know, we haven't really talked about this much. I know, we got cool stuff. Remember when there was that pandemic and everybody wanted to get face masks? Yeah, we didn't sell a single one. Yep. You could have been the only person with the word Buju on your face mask during the pandemic. But we printed these up thinking we'd become millionaires and nobody bought a single one. <laughs> but we got Hoa t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts for $26.99. $26.99 could get you a little, a little tank top. They come in different colors. Michael's, uh, Michael's got some t-shirts with his cartoons on it. But I think these are really cute, sweetie. And I'm going to say something that's going to get me in trouble. Well, don't say it. <laughs> These leggings are so cute. But, hold on, how can I pull that down? Um, I know there's a way to... There you go. Okay. Omics Blood Leggings. So Omics Blood is a book by Michael Lyons that he wrote and illustrated about a little vampire elf. And you can get these leggings for $44.99, which seems expensive to me, but whatever. And, uh, but sweetie, you know why this is such a great product? <laughs> Why? Because this is exactly how a woman's body should look. Hey, don't say that. What? I mean, this model, whoever they found, it's a she's got perfect uh, proportions. And I'm sorry, ladies, but it's true. Anyway. <laughs> you kind of want to buy... If you buy these leggings, ladies, you'll you'll look like this model. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. That's what I'm counting on. I bought you three pairs. No, get out of here. <laughs> and this is uh, cartoons by Michael Lyons leggings. But you know what? Don't buy them unless, unless your body looks like this, tell you the truth. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're probably a kid. Who's going to spend 44 bucks on a kid's you know, clothing? But, sweetie, did you know, this is really sad. There are some countries where children, babies, don't even have little baby shirts with Hoa and an alien on them. That's Steven, the alien. That's right. Hoa, Stephen A. Leon t-shirts in every size, including these adorable little onesies. <laughs> Let your baby have a onesie with Stephen A. Leon and the word Hoa, and he'll be the most popular kid in your house. And this has been... Just a few of the many, many products for sale. See right here, just your classic Hoa t-shirt. White lettering, black t-shirt, Hoa. Come on, you guys. 
You can cut off the sleeves and the neck thing, make it into like a 80s rock and roll guy. $21.99. Links are in the description. Actually, the links are right in the... Alright. So enough of that, sweetie. Should we call it a show? Let's call it a show. Miigwechka bizendawiyag. Thank you for listening. Dash miigwechka ganawabiyag. Thank you for watching. Buju, not a buju. Podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am not a buju. This is Natasha. Buju, and I will see you again. Gigawaba men. Coffee, that's me. <laughs> no.